We are following some breaking news on Wall Street where the Dow Jones was down more than 700 points before close. You can see the final numbers there. The slump being led by drops in big technology companies. Now, it is the worst loss in eight months as rising interest rates pull investors out of the market. 47-year-old man charged for his involvement with the death of his 7-year-old daughter is headed to trial. Police say Wilbur Thomas was driving westbound on I-94 on July 15th with alcohol and marijuana in his system and his daughter right there. She was in the car with him. He's accused of crashing his van into a disabled car that was parked on the shoulder. Now, after the accident, his daughter left the van to go get help, but was hit by another driver and died. The prosecutor says this all could have been avoided. He could have prevented all of this by not driving drunk, by not driving with marijuana in his system, by not crashing that vehicle because he was drunk, and then by preventing his daughter from getting out of that car. If there is a cell phone in that Thomas faces several charges, including involuntary manslaughter, child abuse, and operating under the influence. The man accused of shooting two men, killing one and injuring the other has now been charged. Police say 55-year-old David Unger shot and killed 56-year-old Mark Sushinsky and injured a 63-year-old man back on September 29th. Now, this happened when the victims went to Unger's business to appraise and secure the property. Police say Unger saw the men and started shooting. He is charged with first-degree murder, assault with intent to murder, and two felony firearm violations.